The Eyes of the Overworld is a fantasy fix-up novel by American writer Jack Vance, published by Ace in 1966, the second book in the Dying Earth series that Vance inaugurated in 1950. Retitled Kugel the Clever in its Vance Integral Edition 2005, the book features the self-proclaimed Kugel the Clever in linked stories. The components of the fix-up were five short works published in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction from December 1965 to July 1966, and one original to the book. Topic. Plot summary Kugel is easily persuaded by the merchant Fianasther to attempt the burglary of the manse of Wikunu the Laughing Magician. Trapped and caught, he agrees that in exchange for his freedom he will undertake the recovery of a small hemisphere of violet glass, an eye of the overworld, to match one already in the wizard's possession. A small sentient alien entity of barbs and hooks, named Firx, is attached to his liver to encourage his unremitting loyalty, zeal and singleness of purpose. Firx's only form of communication with its host was to slash his liver. Wikunu then uses a spell to transport Kugel via flying demon to the remote land of Kutz. There, Kugel finds two villages, one occupied by wearers of the violet lenses, the other by peasants who work on behalf of the lens wearers, in hopes of being promoted to their ranks. The lenses cause their wearers to see, not their squalid surroundings, but the overworld, a vastly superior version of reality where a hut is a palace, gruel is a magnificent feast, etc. Seeing the world through rose-colored glasses. On a grand scale. The people are not willing to just give Kugel an eye, but insist that he be on a waiting list for one. Kugel gains an eye by trickery, and escapes from cuts. He then undertakes an arduous trek back to Wikunu, cursing the magician the entire way. This forms the principal part of the book. After many pitfalls, setbacks, and harrowing escapes, including a voyage back in time a million years, ending in the eviction of Firx from his system, and a grateful wizard speeding him by a spell back home, Kugel returns to Yukaunu's manse, where he finds the wizard's volition has been captured by a twin to Firx. Kugel manages to extirpate the alien, subdue the magician, and enjoy the easy life in the manse, until he tries to banish Wikunu and Fianasther who himself has come to pilfer from Kugel with the same spell that the magician had used on him. But Kugel's tongue slips in uttering the incantation, and the flying demon seizes him instead, delivering him to the same spot as before. Author Michael Shea wrote an authorized sequel, A Quest for Some Beelies, Da Books, N.Y., 1974. Vance's own Kugel sequel was published as Kugel's Saga in 1983. Topic. Kugel's character Kugel is a classic Vance anti-hero, though he fancies himself an esthete and a superior being to those around him, in his actions he is a liar, a cheat, an inveterate thief, a charlatan, selfish, greedy, vicious, and so on. However, Kugel has always lived a life of poverty and often needed these attributes for survival. With less obloquy, Vance describes him as a man of many capabilities, with a disposition at once flexible and pertinacious. He was long of leg, deft of hand, light of finger, soft of tongue. His darting eye, long inquisitive nose and droll mouth gave his somewhat lean and bony face an expression of vivacity, candor, and affability. He had known many vicissitudes, gaining therefrom a suppleness, a fine discretion, a mastery of both bravado and stealth. Kugel often finds himself in a situation of revenge, and tries to take advantage of those who used him, complaining when they trick him, curse him as he harms them, or expose his wiles. But almost always Kugel comes out on top, leaving a blazing trail of destruction and chaos behind him. He can be said to simultaneously have both the best and worst luck in all the dying earth. Kugel fancies himself a seducer of women, but his charms are apparent mainly to himself, and to certain types of women that wish to use him. 
His record is not good, he trades one, having lost her the rulership of a city after she had manipulated him, to bandits in exchange for safe passage, another he must leave to drown, in the face of the monster, magnets, and does nothing to avert the destruction of her village after she had broken a promise of everlasting love engagement, he causes the village of a third to be abandoned in dread after she lies to the local thug religious zealots to get them to use force upon him. It must be said that he treats men scarcely better. For example, he bribes a priest, with all of his very valuable magical items, into tricking fifty pilgrims into a feudal pilgrimage, to guard his crossing of a perilous desert, only fifteen survive. On the other hand, Kugel displays a genuine regard for the most selfless of the pilgrims, showing a trait of, do unto others, which is essentially the basis of the book. Topic Fix Up The components of the Fix Up were five novelettes published in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction between December 1965 and July 1966 and one, the second in sequence, published directly as part of the novel The Eyes of the Overworld in 1966 without any prior magazine appearance. CIL, the second chapter, was later published as a standalone novelette in 1969 in the collection Eight Phantasms and Magics. The Eyes of the Overworld has seven chapters because the last in sequence of the separately published novelettes, The Manse of Wikunu, has two sections, which become two separate chapters in the book. The Overworld, F and SF December 1965, CIL, The Eyes of the Overworld, Ace, 1966, The Mountains of Magnets, F and SF February 1966, The Sorcerer Pharism, F and SF April 1966, The Pilgrims, F and SF June 1966, The Cave in the Forest, originally the first part of The Manse of Wikunu, The Manse of Wikunu, F and SF July 1966 in the Eyes of the Overworld, the episode involved Involving the Busiakos narrated at the beginning of Chapter 3, The Mountains of Magnets, differs substantially from the novelette published in the February 1966 issue of the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. In the magazine serialization of the novel, at the end of The Overworld, the character Derwi Kareme rides off in her walking boat never to be heard of again, and at the beginning of The Mountains of Magnets, Kugel finds himself alone in the northern wasteland. Kugel pays the Busiakos a jeweled button to ferry him across a river that he could just as easily have waded through and then proceeds south, refusing to believe he has been duped even when he sees a nearby bridge. In the novel the episode is longer and more elaborate, and reveals Kugel to be not only gullible, but also capable of thoroughly despicable actions. After the events described in the interpolated Chapter 2, CIL, Kugel awakes in the northern wasteland with Derwi Kareme, whom he sells into slavery to the Busiakos in exchange for their redundantly guiding him across a stretch of forest measuring a hundred paces. Topic. Translations A Dutch translation, Ogen van de Overwereld, was published by Moulinhoff in 1974. The French translation, Kugel Lestucho, published by J. Lu, was first published in 1976, with further editions in 1984 and 2000. The German translation, Das Age der Überwit, was published in 1976 by Pabel Moawig Verlag, as number 277 in its Terra Science Fiction series. The Spanish translation, Los Ojos del Sobremundo, was published in 1986 by Ultramar Editors in the collection Grandes Exitos de Balsilla. The Italian translation, Kugel Lestudo, appeared in an omnibus version together with La Terra Morenti The Dying Earth in 1994, published by Editrice Nord. The book was also translated to Russian. Glaza Kuzogo Topic. See also. The Futurological Congress.